We've had recent situations where tap timers uh, have shaved 10 litres a minute from a system. So we've had a, had a flow test done at 30 litres a minute. We've sent out a system that's been designed 18 litres a minute and it hasn't popped up. But the, the hole inside a, of an irrigation controller, tap timer, is so small that it just chokes the water. So be aware of that. Um, our team that do design now are aware of that. In that situation, we ended up giving the client a free tap timer because we weren't even really conscious of it. The, I think the design was done at 19 litres a minute and we were getting 20 litres a minute out of the timer, so it was really close. Generally, we'll design to about 0.75 or 0.8 of the full flow, just to take into account any real, real world changes. Um, you know, house blocks obviously getting cut in half and then two houses being built on the same block, sharing the same 20 mil water source. Um, council obviously starting to irrigate parks and gardens in new subdivisions that weren't being irrigated before. SA water or all water turning down the pressure and the flow in their system to protect their pipeline so that they reduce the costs of maintenance on an aging piping system. There's so many things that are happening along the way. Um, new houses are getting fixed pressure reducers fitted at the front of the house that are reducing the pressure to protect modern technology. Um, washing machines and, and dishwashers obviously can't handle the kind of pressure that they would have when they were made 20 years ago. So if we design down and keep it down low, it protects the client from any of those issues. Um, and it's just an industry standard.